Hey YouTube, Copper San here. The Lara class will be available soon, so today we're going to go over everything that you need to know about the Lara class. Lara will be released on December 1st in MapleStory Global and a bit earlier for Maple C, probably around the 17th of November. And I got a ton of info to share about this class. First of all, Lara is your typical burst, amazing grinder, and party support magician class. And she's one of the few newer classes that doesn't use a new type of weapon. Instead, she uses a good old wand. Great news for Maplers who want to prepare for this class because you can just upgrade a wand you have already and you're good to go for the weapon. Lara is part of the Anima race, which is the same race as Hoyong. So if you already have some cash items you want to have on your Lara when she's released, you can just make use of the cash transfer event in November and transfer your items to Hoyong, who shares his cash shop inventory with Lara. Boom, free cash items, there you go. Lara's interesting to make, not only for the looks, but also for her link skill as well. It works a bit similar to Kane's link skill. The link has an active and passive part. Passively, at level 2, the link skill increases damage by 5%, and when you defeat 20 monsters, the active Active effect kicks in, increasing damage done to normal monsters by 11%. The active effect lasts for 30 seconds and has a 30 second cooldown. So it's pretty nice to use when grinding, her legion effect just gives a flat in bonus. But before we go over more of her playstyle, a word from today's video sponsor, Ace Defender. Ace Defender is a mobile SRPG and a perfect game to play if you just want to chill for a bit. Ace Defender has two types of gameplays, the classic base defense gameplay where you protect your crystal against hordes of evil dragons, demons and the undead. But you're not always on the defense though. In some levels you're taking the initiative and attack the enemy head on with your heroes. There are a lot of heroes in the game already and with two new heroes being added every few weeks there is always something to look forward to. Heroes can be obtained through levels, quests, special events and of course through summoning. And I have to say that's one of the better looking summoning animations that I've seen. Heroes can be combined, upgraded and they can be equipped with special items to make them stronger. Heroes have individual elements as well so there is some strategy involved in creating the perfect lineup for every expedition level. And with almost 2000 levels to challenge yourself with, there's a lot of content to strategize for. There also are expeditions and special dungeons to your disposal, as well as some good old PvP against other players. Your gameplay can be sped up and slowed down as well to save time if you want to, and there are some AFK elements in the game as well, so you're always progressing even when you aren't playing. So if you're looking for a chill a base defender SRPG with a ton of lore, heroes and levels you can play, you can find a link for Ace Defender in the top comment or video description. Installing the game will net you 10 Royal Recruit tickets, those summoning tickets, after completing level 2-8 if you are a new user. Heroes can be recruited in the tavern in Sky City. And now back to the video. Like most classes, Lara is stuck in her beginner area up until level 30. I won't spoil the story too much, but it will take a while to complete everything here. Lara in the first job isn't super exciting or fun to be honest. Her main attacking skill doesn't have a lot of range or a kick to it, but hey, it's only first job. Lara is not like other mages though, she's different. And she doesn't get teleport in the first job skill, instead she can double jump and up jump. Lara also doesn't have magic guard, instead she's protected by her earth spirit that reduces damage taken by 50%. Her other first job passive reduces that even more by another 15% so she's pretty tanky even though she has quite low HP. Her earth spirits also buff up her main attacking skill to dish out a few more attacks. But it's off the second job that Lara really starts going. Once you reach level 30 and you unlock the second job advancement, Lara turns into this amazing grinder. Not only do her skills look very colorful and cheerful, she's also very explosive early on. Lara passively creates veins in the map around her character that can be activated by just a simple press of a button, releasing the vein's energy and depending on the element of the vein, either a fire, wind or water spirit will pop out and will start attacking. Each element has a different attack as well. Only one of each three elements can be active at the same time though, and the veins spawn randomly, which also means that sometimes their placement is not that optimal. When training Lara, you're mostly just jumping around and you're using your one button to activate your veins and set off explosions in the map. If a vein is in a really good spot and you don't want to cast a skill again, you can just chill for a few seconds or use your regular attacking skill to end the lives of some monsters. She can also summon up to 4 earth spirits that can help her take down enemies, but they don't deal a great amount of damage at this point though. By the way, I have no legion, link skills or messes on this character, so she will be a bit weaker than what you probably will be yourself in MapleStory Global or Maple C. And after Lara's third job advancement, she gets a bit more supportive with her skills and she gets more mobility as well. 
She can now teleport to her veins and deal damage at the same time, plus she can change the function of her veins as well. Instead of popping out spirits to the attack, she can change the water vein for example into this thing and then connect two of them, travel between the two, creating some unique grinding methods. She can attack while traveling as well. Her wind vein can be changed to that of a buff that increases attack speed by one stage, even for party members even though they have a reduced duration, and she can float up in the air on the wind vein as well, useful for dodging some boss attacks. Her fire veins can now create a healing zone that heals HP for Lara and being in a zone buffs herself and party members their damage. But again only for a shorter duration for your party members. So Lara can be supportive as well even though it ain't the best like it's not gonna replace bishops or anything like that. When you for example have the fire vein sunlight zone active and you use another fire vein to summon a spirit to attack the sunlight zone will disappear. The same goes for all other elements so only one vein of every element can be active at a time even if you're using a different skill. What you can do with your excessive amount of veins is use one of your newer third job skills to create a bunch of magical arrows that deal damage. This attack is neutral and doesn't make the previous skill of a similar vein disappear. And as you can see, even though we're pretty weak, Lara her grinding has some amazing potential. Oh, and she also heals herself whenever she activates a vein, because why not? But only for 1% of her max HP and MP though. But it does mean that you'll probably never have to use any potions when grinding past level 200. So if you reach 4 job with her, her attacks, those summons, will get massively buff, increasing in size and damage, making grinding even better and future proof for that grind up until level 300. Those skills are so big, man. Lara also learns a few more tricks with her veins. Besides the summon and supportive skills and magical arrows, she can also absorb the vein herself to buff that first job attacking skill. Oh, and that skill actually also got buffed in 4 job as well. It looks a bit more like Bishop's Big Bang attack, but then a bit more earthy. But when you're absorbing those veins, each element grants a different buff to your attacking skill. And similar to before, absorbing for example a fire vein and you already had a fire vein active, then the active one will disappear. But those buffs to Lara's attacks make her a surprisingly okay bosser. Using her spirits to boss would be kinda rough I think. She can now also change the element of the veins with one of her new skills. So even if an element isn't in the right place, you can just change it so that it is. To help Lara survive during boss fights, she can also use this skill to block a percentage of damage when she's hit with a percentage HP attack. Man, my damage is so low. <laughs> I need some gear. Also, Zakuma has a lot more HP in KMS, okay? Anyway, enough playing on this Lara. Let's go back in time a little bit to our level 200 Lara. Now, this Lara has some more skills. With her hyper skills, she can place down her own veins as well. Now, how convenient is that, huh? So, in the end, you don't have to worry much about those veins after all. Her other hyper skill is a bind, and she can also summon this massive tree that grants a ton of buffs. It's very pretty, but wow, talking about a screen filling buff, this thing is so massive it's so hard to see anything when this skill is on. So she can grind like a queen, amazing mobility, and her bossing is pretty okay so far. Plus she has some supportive skills, but we're still missing one thing, some amazing burst. Thankfully, Lara's fifth job adds just that. One of her skills can explode all the veins to create a ton of those magical arrows, and she can summon all spirits at the same time for a massive attack. Her other skill summons those massive earth spirits that also deal a ton of damage, or you can summon up the three of those earth spirits that deal a lot of damage as well. Completing the whole picture, completing her as a supportive, great grinder, burst mage. So that's all you need to know about Lara. Now you know all about her skills, how you can prepare a little bit for her. And once she's released, we'll train her on both the normal and reboot servers to help everyone figure out where you can train and maybe show some more tricks once I can play this class on a little bit less ping. So are you excited for the Lara class? Let me know in the comments. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Rylias, Terry Kim, Vuris, Dries Sumker, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronex, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguette, Oh, I gotta breathe. Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Naisu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy11, Sir Tito655, Grayson Lee, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Manchaka, Ratius, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heyo Pan, Simak, Tuzira, Joshua Alvarez, Striker Elk, Nok MSS, Niu, Taido Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Stanislaus Kusumo Vegas, Ricer Are You, MD Harem, Eddie reacts to things, Dular and Gummy Bullet. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy Maybelline!